it's more interesting than just like collecting rent. And you also get a higher XP payout straight away. But that's pretty much the only reason. Anyways. Fine. Like, oh god, this is gonna be ridiculous. Oh my god. Come again. As you can see, I'm level 17, and one hit from a field raider took off quite a bit of health from me, so... It just shows how much more difficult enemies in the Heights of Power are. So, proceed here, and I just picked up the stone tablet. Make sure you do that as well. Now, I think there's another stone tablet just around here somewhere, but who knows. There's a stone tablet. Now let's keep proceeding. Oh crap. Die bitch. Oh crap. Or not. Okay, so continue on down here and in the process of going to Bengai's farm I usually like to complete the uh, bandits weapons quest bandits weapons zero quest because uh, it's uh, basically on the way to Bengai's farm and after completing the actual quest I get much better armor so that's also an upside of doing it now So, here's one of the more annoying parts of uh, getting to Bengars. Is freaking getting past these scavengers. Ah, uh, I'll just kill them normally. Hey, where is he? Okay, now there's two more, I think. There we go. Kill these two. Nothing in there. there. And here's the uh, second of three outposts of the bandits. Now. I'm gonna see how this works out. Probably not in my favor as usual. There's around four bandits here. If I'm not mistaken. All of them are pretty ridiculously tough. In particular that one, who uses a bow. And oh my god. How did I not manage to hit him? Oh. Christ almighty. How much damage did I just take? Hmm. Maybe I can lure him like this. But it probably won't work. There we go. Oh, come on. Perfect angle. You're in for it now. Perfect. Now I'll kill these ones. These guys are fairly simple. Oh my god. There we go. So, loot 
all of these uh, bandits. Nothing to be had there. Very high gold payout from all of these bandit rapiers. <clears throat> and be sure to uh, pick up all of the herbs here because there's quite a few um, fairly expensive and fairly rare herbs, in particular snapper weeds and the dragon root that I picked up uh, not far ago. Not far away, sorry. Left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. There we go. Now open this chest. Left, 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 right, right, left, left, right, 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 left. There we go. Now let's have a chat to the uh, poor sucker that's hiding out here. After grabbing all of these wolf skins and wolf skins. Hey, you! And this is Elbridge. Thank goodness. The bandits are done for. You have saved my life. Yeah, Elbridge, if you don't remember, is Torben's apprentice. Who are you? My name is Elvridge. I come from town. Master Thorben told me that you had disappeared. Those lowly scum dragged me off here and were keeping me prisoner. Lots of people are missing in town. I don't know anything about missing people. I can only tell you what happened to me. What exactly happened to you? I was on my way to the rendezvous I had set up with my girl. Her name is Lucia. We had been planning to get away to the mountains and away from the town and all those who lived there. I had just arrived at the meeting point when suddenly some of these bandits sprang out from the underbrush and captured us both. I put up a fight, of course, but to no avail. There were just too many of them. You didn't happen to see them. Tell me about Lucia. A girl from the Harbor District. She used to work for that horrible Bromor. She's very pretty. What did the bandits want with you? Sometimes I could overhear them at night. I didn't get everything, but I think they wanted to make us slaves. Where were they going to take you? To a place somewhere here, on the island of Corinus, but I think one can't get there without a ship. They brought me to a mooring place on the coast. Some pirates were camped out there. One of the bandits approached the pirates to negotiate. They were having a fierce argument. I think the bandit wanted the pirates to ferry him somewhere, along with me. But the pirates wouldn't have it. So, the bandits withdrew. And we've been sitting around here ever since. They seem to be rather at a loss, and then you came. Pirates in Corinus? I don't know very much about them. I first clapped eyes on one of them at the mooring place. They always stay in the background. Every single one of them is a wanted criminal in Corinus. They're afraid of the gallows. That's why you're never going to meet one of them in town. Where's the pirate's mooring place? Not far from the harbor of Corinus. When you stand on the quay and look out to the sea, all you need to do is get a boat and go to the right along the coast. The first small bay you come across is the mooring place I was talking about. Bromore says Lucia walked off with a golden dish. Well, if Lucia really stole from Bromore, the bandits will certainly have taken the thing from her. Where's Lucia now? We parted ways at the big crossroads in front of Onar's farm. The bandits dragged Lucia off to the woods behind Sekhov's farm. May Enos protect her. Did the bandits who held you captive receive a shipment of weapons? Oh yes, so many that they could barely carry them. They took the whole caboodle and disappeared towards Sekhov's farm. You should get yourself back to town in a hurry. What else would I be doing? I'm going straight back to my master Thorben. Will you go look for the bandits? Well, yes, I think so. If you find Lucia, Get her safely back to town, will you? I'll see what I can do. Alright, so... Um, oh, I don't want to go to bed because... What would happen... I, I don't know what would happen with the quests involving uh, the militia. 
so preferably not. Anyways, uh, here's the first uh, treasure location. Uh, this completes Greg's quest. Uh, I think I've found something. Yeah, there's uh, in Jarkandar, there's a load more uh, treasure locations. And some of them have some pretty uh, interesting stuff, like stone tablets that are level 3. There's several in particular that uh, are prized possessions. So, where the hell is the snapper weed? I know that it's here, I just can't find it. There we go. Anyways, now climb up this uh, stairway. I have no idea how they managed to build a stairway in the middle of a freaking valley slash crevasse. That's just ridiculous. But here you can find uh, oh sweet bandits rapier, and you can find Bengar's farm, and you can also complete the quest very easily. So I'm gonna do that right now. I can remember where the hell Sekop is. Okay, here we go. I mean, Benga. God, not Sekop's farm. Sekop's farm is the one down there. This is Benga. You are the farmer here? You could say so, but I'm really just a tenant. All the land here is owned by one big farmer. I'm supposed to deal with your militia problem. What? I told Onar he should send a couple of his mercenaries. This is my chance to prove myself. Terrific. <laughs> do you know what the militia will do to me if you screw it up? These bastards come by here once a week and collect the taxes for the city. It's a good thing you came just now. This is their usual time. We should be here any moment. All right. Well, they're not coming here. I have no idea why. Let the militia come then. I'll deal with them. I can't wait. Here they come now. See? I told you so. Just don't screw it up. No shit. Easy enough to kill them. Just shoot at them. Oh my god. The fight. There we go. The militia doesn't even help each other. So, let's go beat up Ricky. Loot the bodies, of course. And also take the malicious. Oh, they don't have malicious uh, short swords. That's sad. I wanted a bit more gold. Hey, you! Your militia problem is a thing of the past. Not bad. Maybe there'll be something left over at the end of the month now for a change. Thanks. What do you think of Onar? <laughs> He's a greedy bastard who'll get us all hanged in the end. One of these days, the paladins will come out of the city and make us small farmers bleed for what he's doing here. But I haven't got a choice. The militiamen only come here to collect and not to defend the farm. If I held myself loyal to the city, I'd be very much on my own. At least Onar sends some mercenaries now and then to see how we're doing. How do you make a living? Mostly hunting, and the wood we cut, of course. We also raise sheep and work the land. Onar saddles me with all these laborers, and I have to keep them busy somehow. Only a few of them are good hunters, you see. 